Hello and welcome to Queen's Crafts by Bridget. I'm Bridget. Thank you for joining me today. Whether you're new here or you've been around since the very beginning, I truly appreciate you coming by and spending some time with me. If you're looking for me anywhere else on the internet, you can find me at my Facebook group page with just a couple sim simple easy questions and I'll let you write in. I also have my email address which is queenscraftsbybridget at yahoo.com and I have discord that I can make available to you if you simply reach out to me via Facebook or email. I also play the game Township so if you want to connect in the game world and you play that game too I've left that code down in the description box. Now we have a lot of names to go through from our last video and last couple lives because we went and visited a friend for a guaranteed visit, uh, guaranteed entry into the cauldron. If for some chance you are new here and you don't know what the cauldron is, it's simply my cookie jar up here. Every single video I draw three names from the comments randomly using a random number, gen gen random number generator. Those three people go into the cauldron at the very first of the month. I draw a name from there and that person will get either a small box of yarn, something I've made, maybe a bag, something, something like that. Um, but now for who is going in this time, we have Deborah Richardson, Lisa Nitz, Karen JSP. Sharon Sutcliffe, Treasures Made From Yarn, Sally Stevens, Lucy's Crochet Spot, Aussie Sandy, Alley Cat, or AU Alley Cat, Stephanie Hoffer, Pinko Pal, Mama G Gear, Sandra John, Oodles and Caboodle, Sarah Nicole, Eight Smiley Lady, Connie Wagner, Crafty333, uh, Amy Betancourt, Diana Curry, Mary's Fiber Creations, and Miss Mary, you need to email me. You won a prize at my live last night, and I need to hear from you so I can send that out. Um, all I, all I cat crochet, M H A E N, Thel 944, which is Angela Wright, Wanda Hardesty, Katie's Ben Yarnified, Megan Lane Craft, and Zoila Riviera. Thank you all very much for going over and visiting Katie, for being active participants here on the channel. We greatly appreciate that, and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. I'm sorry I haven't been real great about back and forth in the comments. I have been very, very busy, and I want to make sure that my customers always get their stuff just as quick as humanly possible. So unfortunately I haven't had the time to banter back and forth in the comments. This time I just did a little heart on the way through of writing all the names down. Now um, we're here for a couple reasons today. I wanted to show you one, the yarn that we finished last night on the live that needs to be washed and whacked and then dried and I can tell you how much the yardage is after that. I've also been working on a dress and the wonderful Katie at Katie's Been Yarnified has sent me a little something and I wanted to open it up with you guys so Katie can see my uh, true reaction as it happens because I have not opened it up yet. So first the yarn. Now I still have um, a mini on the bobbin from the little bit that was left over. I chain plied it, but this was my uh, uh, first attempt at recreating what I called my raven yarn. It is not exactly like the raven yarn, but it is fairly close. There we go. Now you can see there are teals mixed in with dark mauve uh, reddish blacks um, and you know brownish blacks and some grays and it's just absolutely beautiful in my opinion I was very pleased at how this turned out you know there was a few people saying that they would like it although no one has officially claimed it yet so there we go all nice and hanked back up and beautiful. 
So now everyone's been going crazy over this Taylor Swift dress. Well, the, the granny stitch is just not my favorite. So I wanted to make something in the style in which that dress was made, but make it my own way. So using my own stitches. I have made a sweater like this in the past, so I did not need to look up any tutorial or anything like that. But so far, this is what we have. This part here is the first front panel. It will go on like this here. Obviously, I need to do the middle section for this one yet. And this is the continuation of the back. So far, I have done these stitches, and then here in the back, I did a single or a double crochet row, and then I did the X stitch back into a double crochet row, and then back into the X stitch. I will bring it out uh, three more rows with the X, and then one more row with double crochets and that should be enough to get over to the other half of the back which i will recreate this part here with that the yarn that i am using is some very very old karen cotton cakes i got this i think the first year that karen cotton cakes came out when they were the smaller cakes when they were about like this size so I have three or four of this one, and then I had a partial larger cake of this one here. So I've mixed the two of those together to create the dress. Depending on orders, hopefully I will have it done in the next week or two. I'm hoping to get it done before the first so that I'll have something for a stash down because my washcloths or hot pad didn't count for stash down this month, and I would like to keep participating in my own uh, event. <laughs> now, to the mystery from Miss Katie. Now, a while back, I sent uh, Miss Katie some fiber uh, that you can get at uh, Hobby Lobby, the showstopper, so that she could have a try of that. And she said, well, I got something to send to you. And I said, well, okay. And then um, it'd been a little while. I completely forgot about it. And all of a sudden, I got an email saying, um, from Pirate Ship, saying I had something coming. So, we're going to discover what that is. Oh, I remember her talking about this. It is some information on using garden, your garden, to dye your fiber or your yarn, which is very, very interesting to me. I will enjoy this read very much. Thank you very much, Katie. I forgot all about that. Let's put that in for stabilization. Ha! Ah, I found a card. I found a card. Oh my. Well, thank you so, so much, Katie. I'm sure I will absolutely love it. I'm sorry, guys. I do keep my notes to myself. This is a little something just for me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Katie. I have very much enjoyed growing a friendship with you. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. Well, take it out of the crinkles. Oh, this is my colors every single day of the week. Oh, that is it's so goofy. 
It's 19.5 micron merino wool, four ounces. And carafibers.com, 100% fine merino. That is a cute little tag. Sorry, my light is blowing it out there. There we go. It's got the bright, shocking pinks, a little bit of black, some smoky, beautiful grays, and some, like, because of the black, the pink looks almost, oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, I'm going to have fun spinning this up, Katie. Thank you so, so much. All right, everybody. I'm going to hop on out of here. I can smell the dinner is just about ready, so I need to get out there and finish everything else up that's going along with our pulled pork for the night. So I am going to run on out of here and see you guys next time. Until then, bye for now.